a massive open source text to video model just dropped. And you know when was the last time that this happened? 10 months ago. That was also the very first text to video research to come out. Within a year, object and temporal coherency for generating videos with text has improved so much in many different ways. If you have seen my last text to video video, it was already incredibly well made, even though it was published like four months ago. However, it is not open source, so we don't really know how good it is exactly. Not until today, baby! Diamond Lab released a text to video model with the most basic name you could ever have. It's called Text to Video Synthesis in Open Domain. But man, they delivered. Not only did they publish their first model about a month ago, but they also released a second model with some incredible improvements just a few days ago. I love how both the first ever text to video research that was open source is made by a Chinese AI lab, and here we are with another Chinese lab open sourcing yet another text to video model. And I am still here thinking was the last time that Google released their models, huh? Anyways, this demo lab model so far has some really interesting results, like this dude synthesized his own Star Wars clip from only text. While they didn't share what text prompt they used, it did generate some pretty recognizable shots, landscapes, lightsaber, probably a gun here, and fight scenes. The moving shots for the fight scene even looked better than the still shots too, which was insane. Another even cooler example is this person posted a text-generated clip of Darth Vader visiting Walmart, scripted and voiced by AI. This primitive world, Earth, what do they have that could possibly stand against the Empire? This giant supply station must be an advanced military outpost, the Wall of Mart. The uh, Wall of Mart. I see. They grow their warriors to immense proportions. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> they grow their warriors to immense proportions. <laughs> Perhaps we should recruit these giants for our own army, or not. That's and look illegal. at these vast stockpiles of high calorie sustenance. Surely they fuel their oversized defenders with these. I can't imagine the sugar rush they must experience on the battlefield. A whole section dedicated to miniature replicas of their heroes. How quaint. I wonder if they have a little me. Oh yes, they do. Complete with a tiny choking action. These what? domestic contraptions appear to be more advanced than I expected. I don't know if the jokes are AI generated, but that was pretty funny. And this person on Reddit probably phrased my reaction the best. The current text to video AI is really like back when how text to image is during the Dolly Mini phase. And Dolly Mini is only a bit more than a year ago. But the funkiest thing about Damo Labs model is that these watermarks are completely generated. So they probably took Shutterstock's videos without permission to train on, which caused their model to have this extremely consistent watermark, which is hilarious. On the other hand, Runway Gen 2 also came out a few weeks ago, which is also another text-to-video AI that is polished on top of their Gen 1 video style transfer that required a reference video. While it is not open source, you can still apply access and test it out yourself. From its trailer, it actually looks better than I expected. Its temporal coherency is much better and flickerings are a lot less, considering it doesn't require a reference video. The movements for the animations are so clean though. I feel like it currently works better on less realistic videos because the real life ones with a lot of details will be prone to flickerings and texture sticking. But so far, the results I've seen are pretty good. It definitely looks better than Damo's text to video models and Runway Gen 2 definitely has a lot more potentials too. But these text to video models are not the only ways to generate videos with text now. Since text to image generations have gotten so good in the recent months, people have been testing on how to generate videos from these image generators with precision. However, this way of generating videos has has a huge downside. That is a lack of temporal coherency. It means that since every image is synthesized differently, when you connect them to a video, you would see flickerings and a lack of consistency that makes anything pretty much unwatchable. While the text to video model I mentioned previously does already take temporal coherency into account, even though it's still not great, these image generators like Stable Diffusion do not. If you have seen the Corridor Cruise anime or other Reddit text to video clips, EpSynth and ControlNet are 
one of the most popular solutions to generate videos by generating images. Epson is this AI tool that's existed for quite a while and it basically does this kind of AI rotoscoping where you can use an image and stick it onto a subject in a 2D video. This is one of the easiest ways to create temporal coherency and by incorporating control net, yes, the control net that I talked about in this video, people have been testing out different ways to obtain even more temporal coherency, like generating an entire grid of frames from a single image generation to obtain consistency across all of the images. Or with this really new control net model called Temporal Net, which aims to overcome the flickering problems directly right after the image generations. While it is still in the works, it probably can generate longer videos compared to the grid method because the grid method is pretty much limited to how high the resolution of a single image you can generate and can only last for around 4 to 5 seconds with the use of AppSynth. If you want to learn how to do the grid method, here is the Reddit post with some instructions. And if you are an AI researcher, developer, or enthusiast that's constantly pushing, creating, and inventing AI-related applications and is tired of spending a fortune on overpriced GPUs and cloud services, you better not miss out today's sponsor, RunPod. RunPod is revolutionizing the GPU cloud market with their jaw-dropping prices, offering top-notch performance at just half the cost of competitors like AWS, Google Cloud, and Hugging Face. And how do they manage to do that? Simple. They focus on you, the customer, by keeping their profit margins low. Not only does RunPod offer unbeatable prices, but they also ensure top-notch security and quality, pretty much taking on the tech giants at first. On top of that, their innovative pay-as-you-go algorithm means you will only be billed for the resources you actually use, eliminating wastage and saving you even more money. Pretty neat, right? What's even better is that RunPod's AI endpoints make it incredibly easy to scale and manage workloads for a variety of applications, including Stable Diffusion, Dream Booth, Whisper, and so much more. Many users have already leveraged RunPod to launch and scale apps, creating stunning AI-generated art and train cutting edge models without breaking the bank. So if you are a company, researcher, or developer, you better not miss out this chance. So if you want to support this channel while also start to use the cheapest cloud service, go check it out now using the link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Leschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maurice and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Subscribe and follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.